Hello everybody. Thanks for joining me on Melanie Tries Recipes. Today we're going to be making some um, mini meatloaf uh, sandwiches with some baked potato wedges. So let's get started with cleaning up some uh, onion, throw away the trash, and we are going to mince our onion at least half of it anyways we're going to mince this half of the onion so we're cutting the some extremely thin slices to start off with can't get that piece done um this one is also thin slices but we're going to do something different with that because we are also going to be making some caramelized onions to go on top of the meatloaf sandwiches and here we are mincing up the the onion the half onion there those are some tiny tiny pieces let's separate those into a couple of small dishes move that aside let's go ahead and wash this cutting board before we get started on the potatoes okay so we are going to cut these potatoes into some wedges we don't want them too small but we don't want them too big either and these are yellow potatoes yukon golds if you will they are delicious i love them they're my favorite Alrighty, let's put these into a baking dish. Um, huh, I actually got too small of, of, of a baking baking sheet and I overcrowded them. So they didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted, but still tasty. So here we are lining up our pan. Um, we have a few slices that are too big. And as you can see me overcrowding my pan, um, I did put some oil, a little bit of oil in the bottom of the pan. Okay, now we're going to put some salt and pepper on the potatoes. And we're going to try to use my little drizzler but of oil, but it didn't have any oil in it. So I used my big bottle and put <laughs> way too much in. So all in one spot so I'm using my little baster brush thing and trying to move that oil around and over top of my potatoes let's shove them into the oven I think my rack was a little too high but we put our oven at 425 and now let's mix together some uh, meatloaf style mixture we're gonna put some ground beef into this bowl and put some panko crumbs in there and some powder or um, um, garlic powder sorry I had a brain fart there I had to think of what that was some garlic powder some salt and pepper um, a little bit of uh, chicken bouillon and then our minced onions as well Come on, where's the minced onions? Anyways, some ketchup. Let's mix all that together. Um, I was kind of being a wuss a little bit. Didn't want to get my hands in there, but then realized, you know what? Let's just shove our hands in there and get that all mixed up. And then we split that in half. Made some, made some hamburger patty type deals into this pan. Some oval shaped hamburger patties got to make sure they're shaped well nice and oval and then we are going to go ahead and walk this over to the oven 
put that into the same oven with the potatoes. Now we are going to start on these onions. We're going to fry them up a little bit. I'm going to try to sweat them out some, but mostly fry them up and get some oil to come out of them. Sometimes I don't feel like I know what I'm talking about, but I'm just saying what I did. Tossing them in the pan, flipping them around. Let's see if we got a sizzle here. I don't I don't know if it's sizzling. Dang, where's my audio? It's not sizzling. Yeah, probably mess that up. I'm not very good. I'm not very good at the, uh, what do you call it, the videos or anything yet. So, sorry guys. I'm doing my best. So, see the um, onions are browned. We're going to put some water in there. Get that get that boiling put some sugar in there let it continue to reduce down and cook down add a little more water we want to make like a little bit of a syrup at the bottom of these onions So those are done. We're going to set them aside um, and then we're going to do a really weird take or really weird cut rather and then we are going to pull everything out. I didn't show you guys but I did end up putting some ketchup on top of these when they were about halfway done because I don't know how you guys make your meatloafs but um, my meatloaf always has ketchup on it. So anyways let's get this plated up and then um, go have a taster test. Put some onions on there and then get some potatoes on there i've got some got that on a couple of slices of sourdough bread we're gonna thank god for our food amen thank you now we're gonna be really weird and try to cut this in half with a fork and a knife instead of just holding it down and cutting it yeah because i'm just kind of weird so then it actually looks really good. Um, I should have toasted the bread because the bread was kind of a little bit on the dry side and it was wanting to break apart and everything. But all in all, this actually turned out really good. Um, you guys should try it out. Basically just make meatloaf mixture into hamburger patties, throw it on some bread and eat it. It's really good. Thanks, guys.